to some level, to some level, what we just did. Um, when we are at the equilibrium price and we are maximizing the producer and consumer surplus, then that is efficient. Remember that the idea behind the consumer surplus is that if everybody paid exactly what they were willing to pay, then you would have no consumer surplus. But since everybody gets charged the equilibrium price, then it's like they're saving this much money. Now, that idea that you could charge everybody a different price is called price discrimination. Um, discrimination not necessarily being a big fat negative term. It just means different prices for different people based on their willingness to spend. And similarly, for the producers, if everybody got for the product exactly what they were willing to accept, then they wouldn't all be getting the market price up here. But since they're getting more than they were willing to take, that's your producer surplus down here. Now, what happens if we slap a government tax on this product? Let's say, for example, that we have a tax on cigarettes. Now, what it does, in effect, is jack up the price. So let's say we're going from our equilibrium price up here. Okay. Now, this is the quantity that's actually going to be bought and sold in the market because you go with whichever one's lower. Okay. You hit demand before you hit supply. So that's the quantity that's actually going to be bought and sold in the market. And we already said that you're creating a dead weight loss right here, okay, which is still true because that amount of money is just, that's, nobody gets that, that's gone. But now because we've introduced this tax that is causing this difference between PE and P1, okay, this amount is the tax. Now, we still have our consumer surplus up here. We still have our producer surplus down here. But the government is getting this amount here. Okay, This is the piece that the government is taking. So now we have the consumer surplus, which has been reduced. We have the producer surplus, which has been reduced because they're losing some area here too. And oh look, now we've introduced the idea of a government surplus because they took this amount right here. Now how could you figure that out quantitatively? Well, you could say the amount of the tax times the quantity sold, and that gives you that neat little rectangle right there. But what a tax does is cause an inefficiency in the market. It reduces the amount that's going to be bought and sold. And it takes away from producer and consumer surplus because the government is taking that little chunk right there. Good?